Hey everybody, Coin Killer Lou back again. Wrap up for the end of January 17th, 2016. Uh, well, let's go over this really quick. Uh, what I did uh, after I got home and I didn't have to clean anything, uh, I did put the SEF coil on the Fisher F75 and uh, it apparently works so apparently it works on all three detectors so all of these coils will work on any of these detectors they say not to do that you could damage the electronics I think it's false after uh, looking at how exactly coils are constructed they're all basically the same depends on windings and frequency but uh, with detectors that have multiple frequencies like these three it, uh, all of these coils all four of these coils are interchangeable on all of these detectors so you have a really really good uh, idea of what you could do where you're hunting etc but let's get to what we found today the wrap up after uh, two places I only went to two places the uh, the backfield of the uh, old school playground I graduated from there 33 years ago and uh, didn't pull out as much as last week which kind of makes sense you know uh, uh, F75 is going deeper coins can only go so deep uh, as I spoke of, if you saw my video on the coin spill, there were all the coins. Uh, kind of an interesting fact. Most of the coins are like uh, right before 1965. We got a 66 and a 67 quarter and then a couple of moderns. Uh, the nickel, can't make out the date on it right here. But uh, uh, the, the penny was a 71, that's a copper. Uh, and the reason that I said that it rang up as a stack of coins, they must have been laying on a slight angle. So I was reading the edge of each one, and the Fisher F75 picked up on the fact that I was reading the edge of several different coins. So I knew that, that, that there was uh, multiple coins. A uh, great way to use that detector. The, uh, the earring after I cleaned it up uh, yeah sorry probably gold plated didn't even test it you can see it's eating away right there eating away in a couple of places still a nice find I'll hold on to that until I junk it the uh, Boy Scout badge there's a nice pick of that I was in the Boy Scouts, and I know this is a wolf badge. You only get that if you're a Weeblo, second year. Nice keeper. Uh, this was crazy. Piece of iron. All twisted up like that. It was coming up like, I had like multiple signals, but obviously you can see coin, 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 not coin, piece of trash. Um, as you can see, keep a magnet with you also. You can tell uh, if uh, jewelry is real or fake right away. And as you can see, I'm going to right be able to pick up this unfortunately fake earring with the magnet. The stem, probably stainless steel. Well, I'm sorry, stainless steel is not magnetic. Uh, still haven't taken that off. But uh, I believe the back of earrings are supposed to be at least some form of silver for uh, protection from your ear so you don't get infected. So, uh, oh well, darn. Anywho, uh, like I said, there's the coin spill that I found. That was a great find. Uh, what I found today, totals, 505 plus uh, this penny... Oh my goodness. It was in the parking lot. I just happened to see it glint. And this thing is trashed. I don't think it'll even come out in my wash. And a zinc penny. 
That's pretty trash, too. Pretty crusty. Pretty toasty. But a 505 in usable change. I'll put that through my wash. Um, a lot of people might want to know, hey, what do you do with all the money that you find? Well, I put it through uh, my tumbler. I got a, a coin tumbler. Bought it from Kelly Co. And uh, uh, 2014, I had enough uh, change. I collected about 720 some odd dollars. It paid for my uh, new new tires. Actually, I think I, <laughs> I think I actually paid for that outright. Uh, uh, it paid for my front end alignment. It paid for my brakes, paid for my shocks, paid for my oil change. So all that money that I'm making, I'm putting it towards uh, not spending my own money, but spending the money that I find. You got to do that stuff on a yearly basis. And then typical, you know, uh, maintenance on your vehicle. Uh, but... Uh, no, no good jewelry with the F75 yet, but I really do trust in it. Um, also, the separation of coins, like I was talking about in that stack of coins. And uh, what I first did, a uh, big no-no air tested the F75 with its standard coil and the SEF coil. Now uh, when it comes to air testing and made this stupid air test stick incremented off in inches but it's a fallacy. Uh, all those videos out there with uh, people doing air tests it doesn't make any sense really because when you get in the real world out into the soil where the objects have been you're not going to get a uh, the same representation uh, from your detector depending on what detector you have I just don't believe in air testing it's fun to do in the garage in a static environment if there's so much metal around in your garage why are people air testing in their garage test gardens I agree on if the object, uh, you keep it in there long enough, but uh, uh, I just, uh, air testing sucks. Uh, I've been making pretty short videos. This one's a little bit longer than usual. Uh, doing everything off of my phone. Um, I'll get my laptop up and I'll start uh, compiling some of these so they run a little bit smoother. I could have tied uh, my last two or three videos together. That would have been awesome. But not enough of this. Time to have one of this or these. Bud Light. They're delicious, I swear to God. Uh, they taste great after you've been hunting for five hours. And you only pull out five dollars. So, dollar an hour. Uh, it's like I'm back in the 20s or 30s making a dollar an hour. Still fun as hell. Get out there and detect. Find the stuff. Dig it up. Bring it home. Coin Dealer Lou, signing out.